Hello everyone and welcome back to this course that is history of Microsoft Dynamics 365. This lecture we will see module number 5 where we will cover the major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. In previous lecture we have seen the major changes that were released in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 4.0. So let us now see a general introduction about Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. It was launched in February 2011. It introduced the concept of solutions and, and solution layers allowing partners to deliver managed packages of customizations and web resources to be deployed to customers much like you would deploy an app on your phone. So with CRM 2011, the key problem that customers and the CRM vendors faced has been addressed by Microsoft by introducing a new concept called solutions and solutions layer. It was branded as Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. So with this version, Microsoft has adopted a uh, different naming convention. Up until now, it was something like uh, numbering format, CRM 1.0, 1.2, 3.0 and 4.0. But now with this version, they have changed the naming convention to reflect the year in which that version was released or at least the year in which that version was targeted so along with this, they have also uh, released new visualization components like dashboard, which allowed users to summarize the data they input into CRM systems and display it in a real time, giving them 360 degree view of any area of their businesses. So this is how a typical CRM 2011 homepage looked like. So till this version also, the left hand navigation pane was continued. You can switch between different modules like workplace, sales, marketing, service, settings, and resource center area. Still, the UI was list of records. You can see the list of records whenever you select a particular module. So let us now also see the key improvements that were done in CRM 2011. The ribbon more familiar in the office environment was also added into CRM 2011 allowing more fluid transition between environments within the systems. So they have implemented familiar office environment in CRM 2011 as well. So after the CRM 2011 was released, Microsoft has announced that they would begin to take a more agile approach to their CRM product development. Updates were planned to be released twice a year as opposed to the original two, three year release cycle for common business softwares. And with CRM 2011, it was now possible to do programmatic extension in cloud environment as well. So cloud development was also added. Microsoft CRM 2011 includes Azure extensions that help speed development of cloud-based solutions. So now customers enjoyed better Office Outlook experience. Microsoft Dynamics CRM for Outlook offers a deeper level of integration with Microsoft Office Outlook. Also user interface was announced. Microsoft CRM 2011 included multiple user interface enhancements designed to reduce the number of clicks that it takes users to accomplish a particular task. Those were the key improvements done in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. So let us now see the new features as well. Very noticeable and promising feature that was released called Solution Management. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 offers a new way from system administrators to manage their customizations and deploy those customizations to a higher environment. Inline data visualizations, you can now quickly create the charts and display within your views also, dashboards were launched. These features allowed users and administrators to configure dashboards with charts, grids, and possibly even data from external systems. And the Teams concept was also newly launched in CRM 2011. Teams can now own the records in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, whereas only users could own in previous versions of the software. So up until now, the records were owned by the users, but from CRM 2011, the Teams concept was introduced and Teams can also own those records. Uh, with CRM 2011, the new auditing capabilities were also launched. You can now enable auditing on a field by field basis in which Microsoft Dynamics CRM captures each change on a record. They have also launched a new feature called field level security. You can now toggle security on a custom field and then configure security so that only the certain users can view or edit those data in the field. Along with this, a new concept called connections was launched. This new feature replaces the relationship functionality from previous version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Connections offer more flexibility for those records. They also launched a new feature called web resources. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 allows you to store HTML, JavaScript, and SQLite applications as web resources. 
Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 extended queue functionality to other record types instead of limiting it to cases. So with this version, role-based forms and views were launched. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 allows administrators to create multiple forms for each record type. So you can now create multiple forms for a particular entity and you can also uh, assign a specific security role for which the newly created forms will be accessible. A new feature called goal management was also launched. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 lets you specify the goals that you want individuals or teams to achieve and then track the performance against that goal. You can now also do some kind of global customizations like you can now create option sets of values that can be attached to multiple records. For example, global option sets and global JavaScripts. On top of this, the Microsoft has added extensibility and developer features. Microsoft Dynamics CRM included a number of new programmer enhancements including a new programming model using Windows Communication Foundation that is WCF, extended use of Windows Workflow Foundation 4.0 and support for .NET language integrated query that is link you to support extensibility and development features. And you can now do advanced user personalizations. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 lets users configure their workplaces to meet their specific roles and information they need feature called contextual document management with uh, Dynamics CRM 2011 and Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2010. You can set up and associate integrated document libraries with specific records. Uh, also, Microsoft Dynamics Marketplace was launched. The Marketplace is an online catalog of third-party solutions available for download that you can use in your Dynamics CRM system. So CRM 2011 was a very huge milestone in the roadmap of uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM from history. So let us now see a few limitations as well. So up until now, Microsoft CRM 2011 was only supported in Internet Explorer. There was no cross-browser support available for Dynamics CRM. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 online did not support custom workflow activities. Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 online had a limitation to a maximum number of custom entities that can be created. Looking at a brighter side, this limitation is practically very high. So, In order to conclude, this was one of the most significant version that was released with many interesting and new features. Although this list contains only a small set of new features in CRM 2011, we hope that you will agree that this version of software offers a great new customization and end-to-end -end productivity enhancement. So on that note, I would wind up this lecture and in next lecture we will see module number 6 where we will cover major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.